Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, for, for uh, tuning in today. I believe today's message is going to bless you. I, I believe it's going to uplift you. And so do me a favor. Before we even get started, share this right now. Share it with somebody. Send it to somebody because I believe that you're going to get blessed. But we don't want to keep the blessings all to ourselves. We want to share blessings. Amen. So bless somebody else by sharing this share it on your page share it on a private message whatever uh, you do but today's message is called don't look back amen don't look back all right listen very simple but i believe it's very powerful all right and uh, uh so we're gonna go to genesis chapter 19 all right and that's where we're going genesis we're going way uh, uh, way to the beginning, way to Genesis, the first uh, book in the Bible, amen? And we're going to learn some things because sometimes uh, uh, we, we got to go to the beginning to know where we're heading to our future, amen? And, but before we get started, we're going to Genesis 19, all right? Before we get started, let us pray, all right? Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God, everything that you're about to do, Lord God. Open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, and our souls, Lord God, to be able to receive your message, to be able to receive your word, to be able to receive your revelation, Lord God. Lord God, reveal something within us, Lord God, that we can move forward, Lord God, to our future and our destiny that you have uh, for us, Lord God. We want everything that you created for us, Lord God. So, Lord God, just we, we want to welcome you in, Lord God. We want to hear from you this morning, Lord God. We thank you in your precious name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm excited, all right? Don't look back, all right? And uh, uh, so, Genesis chapter 19. And I'm going to get right into it. Because I believe today's message is fire. Whew. Listen. Genesis chapter 19. Okay. If you have your Bible or your Bible app or whatever, go to Genesis chapter 19, verse 15. All right. And, 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 and let me give you a, a, a little backstory. Okay. This is talking about Sodom and Gomorrah. This is talking about some angels that went into Sodom and Gomorrah. And, and, and Sodom and Gomorrah was very, a very sinful place, a very evil place, just full of evil. So much that, that, that God said he couldn't even find uh, uh, five, ten people there, 50 people there that were good. Amen. And so, and so God was going to destroy this city because it was so evil. There was no, no one that was good. All right. But he promised Abraham that he would get Lot and his family out of there. That's what he did. He promised Abraham that he would get Lot because uh, uh, Lot was related to Abraham. Amen. And so, and so sometimes when, when, uh, uh, when, when you are, when you are uh, uh, in uh, uh, a relationship with God, right? So me being a relationship with God, my God covers my children, amen, because they're my children, they're my family, they're my blood, amen. And so this is the same thing. So, but this was, the angels went in there, they, they, they got Lot, all right, and his family, all right, and, uh, uh, and we're not going to get into all the details. If you want, you can go back and read the whole chapter, all right, read a couple chapters out of there. But what happened is the angels are, are telling Lot, his wife, and his kids, hey, we need to get you out of here, all right? Because this thing is about to go on fire, all right? And so, and so this is what it says, Genesis 19, uh, verse 15, all right? And uh, listen, this is all going to tie because you're, you're, you're like, well, what has this got to do with me? Hold on, just listen, and you'll see what it has to do with you, okay? I'm talking about blessings. All right, so just listen in and we're going to tie it in. Watch this. Genesis 19, verse 15. With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry, 
take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, the men grasped his hands. So the men are the angels because they were in man form. All right. They came in, uh, uh, but Lot knew that they were angels, but they came in in man form. So they looked like men, but they were angels. And they came to get them out. So he was saying, hey, hurry, take your wife, your two daughters who are here, uh, uh, leave the city because it's going to be swept away, right? And, and then it says, when he hesitated. So who hesitated? Lot hesitated to leave. So the angels grabbed his hand and his hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them safely out of the city. Okay, so verse 16. When he hesitated, the man grasped his hand in the hands of his wife and of his two daughters and led them safely out of the city. For the Lord was merciful to them. As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. So what was the, what, what did what was he telling him to do? Flee for your lives, go to the mountain, and don't look back. Simple instructions. Okay? And this is what Lot said. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please, your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me, and I will die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to, and it is small. Let me flee to it. It is very small, isn't it? Then my life will be spared. So he's making a deal. He's like, listen, I don't know if I can make it to the mountain. Can I go to that little town over there? All right. Verse 21. He said to him, very well, I will grant you this request too. I will not overthrow the town you speak of. But flee there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you reach it. All right. And in verse 23, by the time Lot reached Zoar, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah. From the Lord out of heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. And I want to stop there. So there was raining uh, a sulfur, burning uh, a sulfur, fire was coming down from heaven and and it burned the whole city it destroyed the whole city of Sodom and Gomorrah all right and everything in it all right now Lot's wife looked back when she looked back she turned into a pillar of salt a statue of salt that's what happened see I want to tell you this morning Whatever situation you're going through, all right, if you spend all your time thinking about what you lost back there, you will never appreciate what you have left. Or you will never appreciate what you have. If you spend your whole time looking in your rearview mirror, you will never appreciate what's in front of you. Hmm. I'm here to tell you today that your future is not based on what you lost. It is based on what you have and what you have left. All right. See, Lot's wife was thinking about that there. Her physical self was out of the city. But inside, she was still back there. She still wanted to go back there. God had brought her out 
instead of looking ahead of what God was doing in her life, saving her, for one, and then trying to bless her in the future, all right? He was already blessing her by moving her out of there, but she still wanted to go back there. She turned around and looked back. The only commandment that, that the angel was telling him, don't look back, right? Run over there, don't look back. Simple instructions, all right? Sometimes in our lives, all right, we know the simple instructions, but we're still looking back. We know the simple instructions of moving forward to what God wants for your life. What God is trying to save you and he's moving you forward from different things in your life. He's trying to save you, but you're constantly looking back. There's, there's a lot of things like, you know, if you could go back, what would you do different? See, that within itself, don't go back. If God has brought you out of something, don't go back and try to change it because God has saved you from it. The biggest thing that the devil can try to do to you is tell you to look back all the time. I'll give you an example. He says, oh, you remember what you used to do? Oh, you're not this new person whenever you get mad or something. Oh, remember, you're this angry person back then. You know, you know how you were back then. This is this. Look at what you've done. And he'll start naming all these things of what you were. But that is not you anymore if you're following Christ. Because the Bible says that we are new creations in Christ Jesus. That he has renewed us. We are born again. It is a brand new start. And that's what God was trying to do with Lot and his, and his family. A brand new start. But she looked back. Her physical body was here, but her mentality was still back there. Ooh, that's for somebody. Listen, you might have came out of a lot of things, but your mentality is still back there. You need to get your mentality to look forward on what God's trying to do in your life. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Don't look at what you have lost. Look on what you have and what you have left. What do I mean by what you have left? See, what you have left is more than enough to build something greater than what you have lost. See, because what you have left is experiences, is wisdom, is knowledge of all the mistakes that you've that you made in the past. What you have left is way more valuable than what you lost. Thank you, Jesus. See, because now you have experienced that which you survived through. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. If you would, if, if you would have died that would have been a different story. See, but because you're hearing my voice this morning, because you're listening to this sermon this morning, that means that God is not done with you. That means that God has something greater for you. That means that he has a purpose within you. That means that he has something great that you haven't fulfilled yet. And in order to do that, you must look forward and stop looking back. I'll put it to you this way. If you were to walk and then you were walking this way, looking back constantly, what would happen? You would maybe trip and fall because you didn't, you weren't seeing what you were going towards. You weren't looking ahead, so you'll trip and fall, hurt yourself, run into things. See, in our spiritual self, that's what we do when we're constantly looking back. We run into a lot of problems. 
within our physical life because we're constantly looking back. Oh, I used to have this. Oh, I used to have that. Oh, I remember when, when I had this job back then or, or maybe this and, 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 and oh, you, I remember this relationship or, or these people that I used to get high with. Oh, they, they, they were fun. Or, or I remember when, when I used to drink with these people or party with these people. You know, oh, it was a lot of fun. But see, you're remembering those things, but you're not remembering how you used to puke all the time, how that relationship you used to fight all the time, how, how these people used to get you in trouble, or maybe how that, that job didn't appreciate you. See, don't look back. Look forward on what God is trying to do in your life. Look ahead. You cannot move forward and receive the blessings of God when you're sitting there always looking back on what you had. Always looking back on what you could have had, what you had done or should have done or did or didn't do. Oh, maybe I should have done this. Maybe I should have done that. Oh, I could have done this. Or I could have started that or, or I could have been this. Forget all that. Look forward. Look forward. Ask God, okay, God, what am I to do today? What am I to do tomorrow? Amen. Let him transform your life by looking forward. Don't look back. There's nothing back there for you. Look forward. In a track, whenever they're running and, 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 and they're trying to win that race, they're not constantly looking back running. They might look a little bit to see what the, the, the other person's at. They might look a little bit, you know. They're running, running, look a little bit, okay. You know? Okay, yeah, but look, I'm, I got my eyes on the prize. I'm looking forward. I might look a little, okay, yeah, yeah, that's nice back there, whatever. But now I'm a new creation. I know where I'm running to. I'm running to the prize. The prize is up ahead. Look forward. Don't look back. Thank you, Jesus. This message is for somebody today. God has instored some blessings in front of you. Stop looking behind you. Thank you, Jesus. It is not too late. God is not done with you. Look ahead. See, in life, today I am preaching from a new place. And I'm not just preaching this to you. I'm living it. I am a living example of it. I'll tell you a testimony. I used to tell people, God bless me with my dream house, my dream home. And this past weekend, we moved out of that home. Sometimes your dreams can change and that's okay. And, and what I had to do is trust God to say, because God's like, do you trust me? I said, yeah, God. Okay. Let go of your house. And I'm like, oh, this is my dream home, Lord. Right? But I had to do like that picture. I don't know if you've ever seen, there's a picture out there where, where there's Jesus and a little kid. And that little kid has a little teddy bear. But Jesus is holding a huge teddy bear behind his back. It's way like this big. And the kid has this little teddy bear. And Jesus is like this. And that kid's like looking like, okay, do I give you my teddy bear? Because I, I, I hold precious. This is precious to my heart. And so if I give you this, right? And that's how Jesus is sometimes. That's how God is sometimes. Do you trust me? I got something better if you look ahead. And so I had to trust him and say, okay, God, my dream home. Right? And I had to move forward. Because I know that God has something greater in store. I know that it's a new beginning. There, there is something that he wants me to do. And I have to trust him. And so I got to look forward. You know, and it's not easy. I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm not saying, oh, everything's easy. 
It's never easy. Anytime you're doing God's work, it is never easy. It's always harder. But with great tribulation comes great blessings. When you trust God, when your faith is in God, he will reward you. And so said here. And so we moved on, amen? We moved on. And, and I had a talk with my family and, and sit them down and say, hey, I know you guys love this place, but we got to look forward. God's about to do something, amen? Thank you, Jesus. So, do you trust God today? Look forward. Keep your eyes straight on Jesus. Don't look back. Amen. Don't look back. God has something great in store up ahead. Trust him. Don't be like Lot's wife and look back. See, and I'm not saying because when you look back, you die. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt. And I'm not saying you're going to die when you look back. I'm saying spiritually. The Bible says that, that sin is dead. Now you don't die when you sin, but you spiritually die. When you're constantly looking back and letting the devil fool you, you're spiritually dying on what God is trying to do in front of you. You have a lot left. And if you have failed in everything, this is a message for you because God has great in store in front of you. Take those experiences uh, on those failures that you called failures and all those things because you can't really fail unless you quit. Don't give up. But take all those experiences and you have something greater to build on because now you have the knowledge now you have the mindset. Now you have the understanding of everything that you have done wrong or everything that, that, that you called failed in your life. You have that. And you give it to God. And watch how he does greater things with it. Amen. Trust God this morning. I hope this message has blessed you. I hope it is encouraging you to look forward and if you have a neighbor tell them don't look back slap them say, say don't look back amen stop looking back there there's nothing back there for you god has something greater up ahead thank you jesus listen share this message with somebody somebody needs to hear this somebody needs to be blessed amen i'm gonna pray before we get out of here all right but go to the website, all right? Check out the website. And, and if you would love to donate, go on there and donate, amen? You could do it by, by Cash App. It is the dollar sign, David Gomez Ministries, Cash App, amen? Go to the website and, and, and share this with somebody. And, and I wanna pray with you. So before we leave, I wanna pray, amen? Let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. We thank you for this powerful word, Lord God. We thank you for, for everything that you're doing, Lord. Awaken us spiritually, Lord God. And Lord, help us to move forward and to look ahead into your blessings, Lord God. And not to look back to the tricks of the devil, Lord God. We thank you for that, Lord God. Lord, we, we pray for those that, that are dealing with sickness, illness right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the children, Lord God, that are dealing with things, Lord God. Lord, that you are touching them right now in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus upon our children, upon our families, Lord God. We thank you for that. And Lord, continue to bless us, Lord God, to look forward, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. And, and, and Lord, help us to walk it every single day, to be your testimony, your light, and, and, and your, your, your words of wisdom, Lord God, your love to, to others, Lord God. 
We thank you in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Listen, if, if you have a testimony, if you have prayer requests, drop them in the comments. I, I will get back to you guys. Send us a private message or email us. Go to the website, davidgomezministries.com and find us there. God bless you. Have a great day. Be blessed today. Thank you.